Hi everyone, Peter Mullen here, uh, bringing you tips, ideas and inspiration on how to stay fit, sane and healthy. Now, also, as we've said numerous times, as I've said numerous times, shining the light or shine the spotlight on some local businesses who really need our support, particularly at the moment. Now today, I'm gonna to be talking with you about a favorite topic of mine, favorite topic of mine, and that is food, good food, particularly in relationship to, or relation to gut health. Now, as naturopaths, you know, we're gut mad. We really believe that good gut health is central to every other system and every other um, part of the body. And it's hard to have really good health if you don't have really good gut health. Now, a few of you or a lot of you hopefully have been to our um, healthy gut talk or gut health naturally talk that we do. And you'll know that part of that talk, we actually do a demonstration on how to make fermented food. And earlier this week, I spoke with Jane from Whole Food Family and came to talk and actually did a demo on how to make sauerkraut and kombucha. Now on the night, we didn't have, um, oh, Yvonne, hello. Hi. <laughs> now I haven't even got to introducing you yet. I was still, I was just saying that um, at our recent gut health talk, um, you went there in person, but you kindly donated the kombucha that everybody got to sample. We did, yes. Well, I wanted to get there myself, but um, I realised I messed up the dates for getting home from a trip overseas, and we got home the day after. So Jane uh, Jenkinson did the took it for me. So I'm glad you got to try it. It was it was the nicest kombucha that Dana and I have ever had, and that's, that's oh really wow. Yeah, that's saying a lot because Dane is a bit of a champion at making, you know, home brew kombucha ourselves, but yours was spectacular. Now, I haven't even introduced you to, to everyone yet. <laughs> this is Yvonne Curtis from Pure Vita Organics. Now, Yvonne, her husband, Daryl, son, Dean, and daughter, Jody, are responsible for providing us with this amazing kombucha. Now, you started your family, so it's a family-run business. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 We started, um, how it all started was Dean, our son was in Nicaragua and he brought home, um, he came home with this knowledge of kombucha and said, mum, you have to try this stuff. And I had a look at the SCOBY that he acquired and thought there's no way. And, um, <laughs> anyway, so we, <laughs> we I did try it and, Honestly, I could within a couple of weeks my body was reacting and it was um, I felt I could tell the difference. I felt really good, so I started kept drinking it and I hadn't I'd realised that I I've been bloated for so long and, and I didn't realise this, and um, so we started I was drinking it for um, oh, a month or so with Dean, then some friends started wanting it and um, we kept more and friends and friends and. So then we thought, well, let's just give the markets a go. And, and that's how it all started back in 2016. So, and here we are today. We've gone from selling like um, at a market to producing like 400 litres a fortnight sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going really well. But that's, that's how it all started for us. Yeah. And, and it all started from Dean, actually, Look, our son. Yeah, it's just a, it's amazing how one thing can flow onto another. And... What a, what a wonderful um, wonderful thing it is to be involved in a, a family business, the four of you all working together, and to yeah. be producing something that is so healthy for people as well. Like it's just a wonderful combination of so many, so many different things coming together. Just for yeah. people, people that don't maybe have been listening today and don't actually know what kombucha is, can you just describe what is kombucha? Sure. Um, kombucha is a, um, it's a probiotic drink and it's made with, um, it's actually made with tea and sugar. And um, what happens, and, the, and you add the culture, and the culture is um, what's, what's called a SCOBY. And SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture uh, Colony of Bacteria and Yeast. So they both need each other to survive. And they feed on the, first of all, the yeast feeds on the, um, the sugar and produces this these acids that the um, the bacteria then uh, consume, and they then they produce these beautiful probiotics, um, acetic acid being one of them. So it's actually live cultures in the drink that um, basically, on a uh, for an easy way to say it is, what we sort of have in our gut, we're we're topping up 
again with live with some of them anyway live cultures to enhance our gut and flora health so yeah look it's that's, that's a simple form <laughs> yeah no that's a great explanation like from a naturopathic point of view we talk with patients about gut health all the time and what a lot of people don't realize is if your guts like when we think about gut health we can think about you know gut symptoms bloating wind bowel variability you know ibs sort of stuff even reflux um and then the more serious bowel conditions like celiac and Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. But mm. a lot of people still are making that connection that if you've got eczema, that can be a sign mm. that your gut's out of balance. Or if you have developed an autoimmune condition, that can be a sign yeah. that your gut's out of balance. Or um, even things like um, difficulty losing weight, um, yes. you know, mental health, anxiety, depression. So, yeah, it's so, so far-reaching. And kombucha is such a an easy way of getting a really nice tasting um, drink that really does yeah. go a long way towards encouraging the growth of those good bacteria. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. We're, we're, we're a big yeah. fan, big fan of your work. Now, oh, what, thank makes, you. what makes your kombucha so special? I was watching a YouTube clip of you last night and I love the story yeah. that you're telling about where you get all your ingredients from. Okay. Well, also, um, we, we have um, behind me, I don't know if you can see, we have quite a, um, a large garden and we, we grow a lot of um, organically um, fruit and vegetables and a, a lot of our ingredients do come from our organically grown uh, garden, um, including beetroot, um, turmeric, um, at, at times ginger. I'm perfecting ginger. I'm not very good at it at the moment. Strawberries, we've got grown the strawberries, passion fruit, um, to name a few. So it is seasonal as well, but um, yep. we're just um, – and what we can't grow, we seek and uh, we source locally from a local organic producer. So um, we've learnt, um, which is another lifestyle thing for us as well, um, with health is that the garden and growing your own food, you know what's going into your food yeah. and you know that it's for you. And we have not used chemicals in this garden for oh, maybe 10 years or so. And um, everything that we grow here, we, we grow from the ground up. We make our own compost, our own fertilisers. We have a worm farm. We do see. And um, so that all goes into the goodness of the food that we produce that then goes into the kombucha. And... Um, with kombucha being acidic, it draws out all the goodness out of those um, those vegetables and herbs. So, yeah, the garden is a big part of our life here. Yeah. Yeah, look, and I think that's a really good point you make, that health really is a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely not, is. Not just about what you're taking or what you're drinking or what you're eating. It's, it's the whole package. And um, I think that... Um, this week in particular, I've probably had three, three patients mention to me that, you know, with having a bit more time on their hands, that they're getting a bit, um, they're revisiting their garden and then re getting, getting back mm. into growing their veggies and getting their veggie patches ready to plant stuff. So, yeah, I think that's, um, that's awesome. Yeah. And, and it has to add such value then to the quality of the product that you're making then as well when it's all organic and, and so lovingly, yeah. you know, put together. Well, that's the other thing. We do everything by hand. It's all, we, it's just us. We don't, we have very small machinery available with, with our labelling and we have a, a, a small bottler, but everything else we do ourselves. So it's all hand done. We, we check the, the SCOBYs nearly every second day and make sure they're all happy. I talk to them because <laughs> they're alive, you know. <laughs> so we try and... And so with a, a lot of change happening, and we were talking briefly before about um, how, you know, adaptable we've all had to be with, with our businesses. What sort of are some mm. of the things that you've noticed in your business that have changed or where you've, got to, you've had to change your approach? Yeah, it's, um, it's, we've had to re reprogram and that's, that's an ongoing thing um, with everyone. It's the same, I guess. But, uh, yeah, from going and doing the same thing that we've been doing since we started back in 2016 and then all of a sudden it's just stopped and um, so we're refocusing on things and trying to learn how to run the business um, we're still getting our kombucha out there but we have had to cut down 
areas that we can sell it in. And of course, it's not just the markets, it's um, places, um, cafes and things like that that aren't open anymore. So we've opened an online um, business and we're delivering. Yeah. So um, that's, that's sort of where we're at at the moment. And that's really just starting to build. So we're just working on building that, um, that in the community and get it out there and um, trying to do some promotions. Um, I'd like to try and do some virtual workshops in the future as well yeah. um, on, on kombucha and what it can do for your gut. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just refocusing our, ourselves and, and trying to fit in with, in, uh, with doing the right thing by us and looking after ourselves first. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, trying to help get our product out there so other people can look after themselves as well. Yeah, I think that so. a couple of really good points there about restructuring that, you know, we've had to restructure our, our businesses, but we've really had to restructure our mindset as well. You know, yeah. the change, we have to change the way we're thinking about how business might look and um, what's got to be different. And really important there what you said about self-care as well, that you really got to look after yourself mm -hmm. first. I think that's a yeah. really, really good point. What do you What do you do? What's your favourite self care um, thing that you do for yourself? Okay, uh, exercise is first thing in the morning. I go for a walk. Um, try and include um, probiotics every day into yeah. my diet, um, whether that's kombucha or fermented foods. Um, try and yeah, gut health is a big thing. Um, eating real food too. That's the other thing as well eating real food we don't try not to make anything from a packet it all just comes from you know what we've got in the cupboard or what we've got in the garden yeah awesome. so i think yeah just looking after yourself um with exercise and food is one thing um mindfulness too trying to think about things which is this this period of our life at the moment is giving us a bit more time to do that so that's a good thing that's coming out of it really yeah it is isn't it it's definitely a silver lining at the moment is there is more time for for putting mm. self care in, so that's awesome. Yeah. Now you yes. ready? Are you ready for my um fast five? Yeah, I'm ready. Hit me. All right. Now number one, favorite exercise. Uh, hiking. Favorite vegetable. Pumpkin. Now where do you where do you love to hike? Um, I did the Camino. With my daughter. Um, but yeah, I like like to go on um long hikes uh, but at the moment Jed, yeah, we just go up in the bush but I like to do long hikes and um, so I'd love to do another one back over in Europe another big long one last year we did a 400k hike in Spain wow, wow. <laughs> that's amazing well that, um, yeah hopefully once the borders the international borders open back up you can get mm. back over there favorite splurge cheese <laughs> favorite health supplement favorite health Health supplement? Uh, probably we make a fire tonic too. Um, so probably our fire tonic. Beautiful. I'd have to say. What, um, what's, in the, what's, in, what's the fire tonic do for you? Uh, I believe it helps me with my, immunity, my immune system because um, it's full of um, immune boosting herbs and vegetables that's on a long ferment um, like garlic Beautiful. and chili and ginger and turmeric, those things. So it's for, all for my immune system, which uh, and, we need at the moment. And one thing that you can't live without? Uh, probably family. Family and friends. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and um, Yvonne, where, where, do, where, where can people buy your kombucha from now? If they just go online? Um, yeah, Pura sure. Vida. They can... They can order online with us at um, puravita.com.au forward slash order or orders or just go to the website and it's on the front page. Um, they can also order through Your Food Collective online and Go Organic online as well. Fantastic. Um, they're the main suppliers, yeah, at the moment. Yeah. So. And local crop too. Beautiful. And if you haven't tried Yvonne's um, kombucha before, make sure you do yourself a favour and give it a go. Mm -hmm. And do you sell that fire tonic as well? We do, yes, we sell the fire tonic as well. So that's yeah. all on the website as well. So, yeah. I have to give that a go as well. So thank you for that. I'll, now, just to, just to finish up, what's your number one health tip? Uh, eat real food. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> thank you so much, Yvonne. Thank you, Peter. It's been a pleasure. Bye.